Hello everyone, it's Wilson here. Today I want to continue to talk about limits at infinity. And we have a rational function here and x is approaching infinity. We want to figure out what this function is approaching to. And so how do we do this? Um, so first, if we consider the x approaching infinity, you can see that the top is approaching infinity. As you can see that the four times infinity times a big number plus the three that will give you a big number. And then if you have the infinity right here, you're actually getting infinity minus infinity. That's actually in, in the terminal form. So we cannot apply the limit laws directly to the problem, right? And so what can we do here? What we can do is that we can try to factor something from the top and something from the bottom, and then try to rewrite this limit problem into a new limit problem um, so that we can find the limit from that. Okay, so let's get started. So first we have this limit and we want to factor out the highest power of X from both the top and the bottom. And for the numerator, you can see that the highest power is going to be X to the first, right? It's this, the first power. So we are going to factor out the X from the top. So we have X right here. And then at the top, we are going to be getting four. Okay, so you can see that the four times the X will give us the four X. And then from there, we factor out the x from the 3. And to get that, then we are actually going to be getting 3 over x. So you can always do a quick check after you write down your result because um, it's easy to make mistake here. So if you just do a quick check, that will actually be really helpful. So if you take this x and multiply by 3 over x, then we are going to get the 3 because the x's will get canceled. So now the numerator is, is there. Okay, so what about the denominator? For the denominator, this time we are not just factoring out the x, we are factoring out the x squared because the highest power for the x is 2, right? So that's the second degree. And so, um, x squared. So we want to factor out that x squared, and then we're actually getting one minus and then 12 over x okay as you can see here because there was still a x left so we need to have x to the first power at the bottom so that when we reduce the x square and the x we are left with just the x that's attached to the 12. okay so last turn right here the 35 we have the 35 over uh, x square right here okay so you cancel the x square you can get the 35. So see what's going on here. We factor out the highest powers of x from both the top and the bottom. Even if they are different powers, we still do it that way. And what are we going to be getting here? We can actually cancel out the x and the x square here, not completely cancel out, canceling out the x square. We can reduce the x. So if we're reducing the x, then we are going to be getting the x to completely cancel. That square is gone, right? It becomes a 1. And so you still have an x factor at the bottom. Okay, so from there, we're actually getting a new limit problem. And it looks like this. So we have the 4 plus 3 over x at the top. Okay, and then at the bottom, we have more stuff at the bottom, as you can see here. We have the x, we have the 1 minus the 12 over x plus the 35 over x squared. I think we need more space. I think that doesn't look too good. Okay, so 35x squared, right? Then I, I think I need to extend the fraction line so that it looks better, right? So cover the whole denominator here. Okay, so we have this function. So now what? Um, as x approach infinity, we are going to consider each term separately and see what's going on, right? So let's do that. So here, we can do it on the side. As x approaching infinity, okay, what happens? Let's look at the turns one by one. The 4, we don't need to worry about the 4. The 4 will stay as a 4. And then we have the 3 over x. So we know that 3 over x, as you can see, it's going to be approaching, what is that approaching to? That's approaching to 0. Why is it approaching to 0? Because x is getting large, right? So 3 over a large number, that fraction is approaching 0. Now let's look at the ones at the bottom. Um, we, have, we have this x right here. 
right? This x, well, we know that x is approaching infinity. So this x right here, it's going to be approaching infinity. Yeah, so let's just highlight those things right here, right? So you can see this one. You can see that we highlight this one here with the blue color. And then you can also highlight this x right here. Okay, so you, see, you can see. And then now the one is just the one. We don't need to worry about it. Let's look at the 12 over x here. The 12 over x. Right, the 12 over x. Also, it's approaching zero, as you can see. And then continue. Let's look at the 35 over x squared. Okay, so what is that approaching to? That one is approaching to also zero. Well, I didn't highlight the square over there, so let's highlight that square over there. Yeah, so that includes the square. Right. So see what's going on here. We actually figure out all the important parts already. So we are going to rewrite the limit so that it's even simpler. So in this case, we are actually going to be getting the four plus now the blue fraction. It's approaching zero. So you get the zero here and then in the denominator. In the denominator, we are going to be getting the um, the x, the x is approaching infinity, so we are just going to leave it for now, as you can see. And then what about the other stuff? The other stuff is going to be 1 and then minus. Now the 12 over x and the 35 over x squared, they are both approaching 0. So you are going to be getting just a minus 0 here and then plus the orange 0. Okay, so look, looks really colorful here. And so see that that actually simplifies the problem a lot. And if we rewrite it and clean up the whole expression, we are getting just the four at the top, okay? And then what do we get at the bottom? What do we get at the bottom? The bottom is just going to be uh, one times x, which is just x. So just the x at the bottom. Okay, so now, um, when x is approaching infinity, that's really just like those situation right here. You have a uh, just some constant at the top, and then you have a quantity that's getting larger and larger at the bottom. So you can see that this will give you a limit of zero. So the answer is zero. Okay, so that's it for this problem. If you like this video, please give me a like, subscribe to my channel, and share my videos to others. It will give me support to make more videos. If you have questions or have a topic that you want me to talk about, please leave me a comment. Thank you for watching this.